So I'm going to tell a Jane Scott story. Jane would have turned 100 years old had she been alive, I guess, yesterday. In this clip that aired on today's date, 1987, August 17th, 1987, on The Late Show, it's of Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. One of my greatest memories of Jane Scott is when Mojo and Skid were playing the fantasy in Lakewood. And I videoed the show. After the show, I stood in line with my tape cover to have Mojo autograph it. And Jane Scott was in front of me. And for those of you who don't know, Jane Scott, at this point, was probably about 72-ish. And at, yeah, yeah, around there. No, about around 70. She'd be 100 right now. I guess around 68, to be precise. So, much older than all of the people there. And she, and she probably looked older than 68. And so Mojo went into a shtick of, I'm going to shock this old lady. And he was throwing out the F-bombs every other word. She had her little, you know, small spiral notebook where she was taking notes and asking him questions. And, and he tried to shock her with every answer. Jane was unflappable, as she always was. She stuck to her journalistic guns, did not react once. Mojo, after about three or four, maybe five times, it was getting pathetic, he stopped. Jane Scott controlled Mojo Nixon. Excuse me, on a, on a quick note, um, sometimes words aren't enough, but I just want to say, Joan, we love you, and we're pulling for you with, with you, baby. Yeah. Hang in there. And now with, with their tribute to Elvis to keep the spirit alive everywhere. <laughs> From their new album, Bodacious. Where's that album? Here it is. Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. Give it up. When I look out in your eyes out there, when I look out at each and every one of your faces, you know what I see? I see a little bit of Elvis in each and every one of you out there. And put some Elvis whammy on ya. Some of you people out there going, Mojo, Mojo, what about outer space? What about outer space, man? You think people from outer space look like Dr. Spock or Klingons or any of that Star Trek job, man? No! People from outer space look like Elvis. Everybody in outer space looks like Elvis because Elvis is the perfect being. We're all moving in perfect peace and harmony towards Elvis. Soon, all will become Elvis. Why do you think they call it evolution anyway? It's Elvis Lucian! Elvis Lucian! Elvis is everywhere! Elvis is everything! Elvis is everybody! Elvis is still the king! Man, oh man, what I want you to see! Big keys inside of you and me! Elvis is everywhere! Elvis is everything! Elvis is everybody! Elvis is still the king! Man, oh man, what I want you to see! 
Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. I can't play a lick. That's why I'm a taper. Thanks for watching the channel and making it grow. If you want to subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Patreon and GoFundMe would be appreciated. Maybe I could get guitar lessons. <laughs>